Hello there and welcome to this tutorial about an add-on I've created in Blender uh, called the Window Generator uh, and this plugin will uh, very quickly add uh, different types of window patterns to your mesh. I did this because uh, a number of years ago I uh, were creating lots of spaceship meshes and these meshes had a lot of windows on them and also the customers who um, wanted these meshes were kept asking for more and more windows and uh, more and more and more and more and it would take me days um, to add all these different random window patterns onto these meshes so uh, when I got into Blender I decided to write an add-on uh, that would very quickly create these windows for me so I wouldn't have to worry ever again so for me this uh, plugin is is golden really I think it also has um, other applications um, architectural modeling uh, you can quickly add windows um, using this add-on as well so just to show you how to install this add-on first of all go to file user preferences and then install add-on from file along the bottom and navigate to the zip file you've downloaded from the website Click install add on from file and if you search for window you should see it mesh window generator make sure that checkbox is checked and click save user settings just to be sure that next time you load blender uh, it will come, come back again so let's get into the nuts and bolts of how all this works uh, I'll add a default sphere first of all and make the faces smooth. I'll also just quickly add some subdivision to increase the number of faces. Uh, and I'll go and tab into edit mode and I'm just in face edit mode now and I'm just randomly selecting some faces to add windows to. So if I hit space bar and search for windows I can quickly get to the menu you can also access the plugin through the mesh menu in the bottom left hand corner so here it's very quickly created uh, lots of windows for you I've just added an edge split just to smooth off uh, the cuts that it's made in the mesh uh, so you can see here let's zoom in a little bit and just have a play around with some of the initial parameters so you can adjust the coverage of windows that you get uh, in a random fashion uh, you can also adjust the number of windows that you get across a face and below it so you can add lots more windows if you like do be careful that you don't create lots of windows per face depending on your machine it might start to slow down a little bit uh, you can adjust the width and the height of the windows as well as the depth as well of the windows you can also increase the detail of the segmentation on the windows as well create smoother windows uh, with the corner bevel features here you increase the detail as well of the segments and you can also adjust things like the type of bevel you can also give an outer bevel as well uh, and adjust that a little bit just to make it a bit smoother and there you go you very quickly get uh, a an effective window pattern so going into some of the more detailed features you can add your own materials to the windows as well so here I'm just creating three material slots one for the uh, base of uh, the uh, mesh uh, the second one is for the lights themselves the switched on lights and also optionally if you want some lights that look like they've been switched off you can add those as well uh, so if I've got three materials like that, uh, I'll go into edit mode and select the circular as part of the sphere and generate some windows. So there's some options here for 
um, are adding um, the material slot indexes uh, that align to the faces. So you can see there I've got the, um, the bright lights switched on there now. And if I wanted some lights to be look like they've been switched off, you have that option as well. If you increase the percentage of lights off pattern there, you can also create different random effects by adjusting the seed parameter. Uh, so you've very quickly got a, um, a different patterns happening there. Another slightly more advanced feature as well is if you want to add more variation into the Windows pattern, you can add a jitter effect to each window so that the actual specified height or width here mm, uh, will vary. So you get a bit of more of a varied pattern going there. You can also adjust the height as well, the jitter as I call it. Um, uh, so you get a very sort of varied effect quite quickly and that has its own separate random seed as well so you can adjust it individually and separate to the rest of the patterns uh, that are going on. Another feature is the ability to control uh, the tops and bottoms of the bevels on the windows that are applied. So if I create another little uh, shape here and Add the pattern to it um, uh, you can actually control the bevel so if I add some corner bevels here just to give some slightly rounded windows if I deselect bevel bottoms you actually uh, can get different sort of window shapes there so sort of a church window shape appear there and you can add some more detail if you like as well, so the outer bevels still work. So something I should also describe is the orientation options. So this is all about how the windows really get applied to a face. So by default, they get applied from the tops to the bottoms of a face, depending on how it's orientated in the 3D world. Uh, so that's from the top down to the bottom. But you can change that if you wish um, to either the front to the back of faces. So if I select that now, you can see they're actually operating from the front of the mesh to the back on the faces. Or you can go from left to right as well. And those are basically all the default parameters for mapping the faces. There are also some cleanup options as well on the add-on because the way that the uh, window generator will subdivide the windows uh, unfortunately leads to bad artifacts sometimes like on the top of this mesh here. So you can select uh, dissolve unwanted edges, that's actually selected by default so that will start to remove a lot of the edges that uh, you might not like. Uh, you can also select dissolve unwanted vertices and in this case at least uh, it gives a lot of uh, a lot cleaner look sometimes these options don't quite work so you might want to disable them uh, but uh, for some of the meshes i've tested this on they seem to work quite well and then finally before i wrap up there is an option to uh, mark uv seams onto the mesh as well so this is for UV texture mapping. Uh, so um, by default, these UV seams don't appear in the UI. I think that's an issue with this current release of Blender because they certainly seem to be there when I unwrap the mesh. And uh, hopefully that will aid you when you're texturing the uh, mesh. And then finally, just to bring it back to what would have taken me a long time previously, uh, if I had a saucer shape like a bit of a Star Trek starship, you, I can quickly add faces and add uh, a window pattern. Uh, I'll just do what I did before there, just add a few textures as well that convey lights on, lights off. There we go, bring that down to black. And then 
if I go back and generate some windows there and uh, select material first of all, material view, you can see that the lights are on there. If I increase the lights off pattern, you'll see that some lights are on, some lights are off. And I can alter the different patterns on the side of the saucer. And if I tab out, uh, you can see that it's very quickly created something that would have taken me days and days beforehand. So I hope this is a useful plugin. I'm certainly going to find it of a lot of use.